Hi friends, this is Vetrivel. This tutorial I will teach how to copy data from one data grid view to another data grid view as well as copies two data grid values into one single data grid view as well as copy three data grid values into another single data grid view because this is uh, one of my friend asked this kind of question how to copy the uh, data grid values from to another data grid value this tutorial I will teach how to make that kind of uh, scenarios okay here once I click the load button it will load from the uh, data to this data grid view see is loaded so one two three three data three rows are loaded once I click copy so exiting this data grid view values copied from another data grid value another data grid view just click here so copied successfully same way same wise I will copy now this data grid view one and data grid view two values into data grid view three see one two three so this is first data grid value and this is second data grid value and copy all into one single data grid view just click copy all it will copy all the data grid values into single so this and all I made using C sharp program here I didn't use any databases you can you want then you can use databases also okay guys I will teach you how to make this effect in step by step okay by just I need to create one more form here just right click your solution bar and right click add new item in your new item I am selecting windows form here I am putting a leave this here you want give any name here just I am right now I am giving form one only and click add so just expanding the forms first I need to add one data grid view here Let's go to data section you will find the data grid view this data section will under the toolbox in case toolbox is not there go to view and click toolbox it will come the toolbox so here I add the data grid view so which size you want you can resize it here just click this small icon is there this icon edit column you have to click the edit column in that column you have to click add here I am giving the column name ID first column name header name ID and second header name name and third one edge and click add and close and here put the name go to select the name and go to uh, auto size mode set to fill why I am giving fill so it automatically expanding the grid view size based on this name only expanding the how much your grid view increasing it will expanding so how much you want you can add it okay guys by default one row will be added here okay don't worry about that that and all I will teach okay so here copy I added three columns here just copy and paste it once again so second row will come and again copy and paste it so third row will be coming here so now I added added third row I need one more row called fourth row so I will add it here fourth rows okay so sorry fourth grid view okay here I will add one more button called button just add it here button so here I put load and copy and control V here I will put copy one copy one here I will put copy
copy to so it will copy and one more thing I will add copy all so I added three buttons sorry four buttons copy copy all so okay now double click this button it will go to navigate to uh, coding part here you can return the code for time being I already returned that code so I'm just copy and paste it and I will explain all those details copy and paste see here I am using data table for the data table you want data table then you have to must declare this namespace using dot system dot data I will increase your font size also you can see using dot system dot data once you are declared that uh, na namespace here after that you can use it here data table data table dt equal to new data table so here you can add the columns dt dot columns dot add I have added three columns here one is ID one is name one is age so dt dot columns dot add ID dt dot columns dot add name so I added three columns here in the three columns I will add first new row so data row row equal to dt dot new rows dt dot new row that means it will add one row in that row id i will pass this id name id here name here age here so i will pass the values here 0 1 name equal to retrieval and age equal to 26 that dr i uh, add into dt dt means data table rows dot add equal to dr dr row i will add it here so likewise i added one three two three ca ca rows and three columns okay now i added successfully so you will see how this how they is work so you have to put debug mode here and run the project but by default my previous project only my previous form only it will run so you have to set which form you need to run first so here I'm set form one so in program you have to set which form you need to run okay now I'm click run button so it will run this form here and click load it navigate to debug mode so press F10 so it will go to next line press F10 so now you have to click this um, mouse over over this DT you will get to know one small icon in that icon one search option is there so just click that search option so you will get the columns so ID name age so that means three columns are created here but no data is there so now I execute this run this now we have to go and go to this no data just add those values now you have to go to this DT again so you will get only one row is added likewise it will add the three values here see three values added so here I am using dt dot rows so how many rows in data table that uh, that the time uh, it will looping X for example here three rows is, is that so uh, the loop will be uh, three times it will be running here so press f10 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 so data grid be one dot rows dot add so, so add means one row I added here that means n will be zero so index will be zero 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 row. so I will explain this so this is zero second row is comes now that is one third row comes now that is two that the concept here running here so I added value one first time loop running second time loop running third time loop running 
and that's it so values are added here successfully so three values are added so here empty row is there see here empty row is there you want to remove this empty row then you have to do one simple steps what steps just go to here click go to properties here you will find header row header visible because sorry this is not so just click here enable adding so you will remove these columns okay you want enable adding sorry enable adding it will come this columns okay now I need the program and load press F5 you will load all the values okay guys now I will teach how to copy these values into one data row to sorry one data grid view to another data grid view so double click here and copy I already return this code okay I already return this code just I am copy the code here and paste it here so I by default I in slicing n value equal to 0 here I'm looping through data row but here I'm losing looping through data grid view row so both are different you have to know here data grid view row here data grid view data row here data grid view row in that here I'm looping DT means data table here I'm looping data grid view means view rows okay here initializing the values equal to zero here I'm counting the how many record into the uh, data grid view one I need to add the row into data grid view two here just I'm changing two now I hit the program first load the data and click it will copy it successfully so I will explain now okay how they work sorry well it is uh, yeah. see here first time data review row it get here why I am using uh, data grid view dot rows dot count not equal to n plus one here I am declaring I will tell that concept here by default one row is added see one row is added so that means I am looping it will so I will explain a loader one two three four means four time loop will be executed but fourth record is empty row so that means you adding that record three loop will successfully execute and fourth loops comes in at that time error will be exception will be throw error will be come so for that uh, what I am doing here sorry here data count data uh, data grid view rows dot count that means it will comes four but record is three but here coming is four here not equal to n plus one I am initializing value 0 starting value is 0 that means last record it will come now here it will come 3 plus 1 means 4 here come 4 so count also 4 both side is equal then loop is not executing here the condition will not come here so no exception will come so I will execute so I will uh, explain this by step by step here so and click load and click copy so n equal to 0 f10 f10 count equal to 4 you will see the value 4 n equal to 0 0 plus 1 equal to 1 0 plus 1 equal to 1 see 0 plus 1 equal to 1 condition is true so it is execute now n equal to 2 2 n plus 1 equal to 2 now 
count equal to 4 condition is execute now added n equal to 3 n equal to 2 plus 1 equal to 3 that means 2 plus 1 equal to 3 count is equal to 4 the condition is true execute now is coming n plus 1 equal to 4 here count equal to 4 condition is false condition will come out the loop that means it will come correctly you want then you have to remove that uh, this data grid view last row now you can execute without that conditions okay now i will do second button worker so go to farm design double click this farm here i am copy this code also copy paste it first of all i will same thing i am doing first i need to copy data grid v1 2 data grid v3 so which where I need to copy here I have to specify the rows here sorry uh, data grid view here so based on data grid 1 it will work now n minus 1 I need to put n minus 1 because by default once this condition executed n value will be uh, 4 but I need to here only 3 record is there so next record is equal to 4 the, the, that's why I need to minus 1 and I'm getting the exiting uh, data grid view to count I'm getting the data grid view count and now I'm looping data grid view 2 again I'm storing this values into data grid view 3 here three now I'm save the project and run the project load click sorry and first I will stop I will remove all the debug breakpoints so it will remove now I am click a button and copy is successfully copied this data grid view 1 to data grid view 2 now I click copy 2 means data grid view 1 plus data grid 2 it will copy see data grid view 1 value and again data grid view 2 value is copied here now I click copy all. It need to copy data grid view one, data grid view two, and data grid view three values. Okay. Now I will show you how to copy that. So I already written this code. Just yes, copy this. Control C, and just go to here. Double click here. Paste it. See, I will first show the all the codes. This is step 1 I need to copy data grid view 1 to data grid view 4 step 2 I need to copy n minus 1 add n minus 1 I'm getting the data grid view 2 count and I will copy data grid view uh, 2 to data grid view 4 again I will n minus 1 and h as in reassign data grid view 3 count again I will pass into here that I grid view 4 now I'm hit the run button and click load copy copy so and click copy all so it will copy all so first three record it will come from data grid view 1 after this three record comes from data grid view 2 after this six records comes from data grid view 3 the entire record is now placed into data grid view 4 ok guys we will meet on next best tutorial meanwhile any queries comes in our feel free to send my mail don't forget to subscribe thank you